Welcome back to LA Noir, everybody. It's time for House of Sticks. We're going to California Fire and Life. Are we going to go and see Jack? Yeah, we are. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Hold on. Am I going to be playing as Jack Kelso? Hold on. What? Okay. Dear Miss Lichtman, pertaining to the matter of policy number bleh, and the sudden death of your of Mr. Lewis Jan Bulkvalta tried, I am writing to inform you that you have been named as the sole beneficiary of his estate. Please find attached a settlement check for twenty thousand dollars. A maximum payable amount in accordance with the clause four A of the life care disability and accidental death policy, which he held. If you wish to dispute this uh, the settlement, you may contact our accounts management by return mail or by phone. And there's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept this. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. It seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. I'm having my mind blown. Am I playing as Jack in this one? I'm playing as Jack, aren't I? There's got to be more in these files. Okay, I don't know what to click on. Read the entries and press A to select. I don't know. Life and Fire, Normandy, Elysian Fields. Against loss or damage not exceeding $900. What are you wanting me to look at? I don't understand. I'm just going to keep tapping. Jack, tap. Um, insurance policy number. Okay. We tap here. We tap here. Policy number. Life and fire. Fire and life. Whatever the fuck. City of Los Angeles. February 23rd? Uh... A the house? No? Approval. Keep tapping! Sorry, what are you asking me to do? <laughs> okay. This policy number. This policy number. What in the dick? Okay. All right. While in the employ of Elysium Fields Development, Louis Vian was killed. When, uh, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, he fell. Approximately 23 feet. That will kill you. His falling height caused several ceiling joists to snap. That's not important. Autopsy later revealed that he his cranium was shattered. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Uh huh. Internal hemorrhage. He died after 10 minutes. Great. Why was I tapping? Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. I'm playing as Jack and it's freaking me out. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. No, weren't you sent here by, uh... You sent here by, uh, Cole. I forgot his name because I, like... 
Jesus, I'm shiny. It's hot in this room, so I'm, I'm very shiny because it's warm. Um, yeah, you were sent by court, so doubt, because I don't have any evidence. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. Oh, it said nothing about Cole? Oh, I'm glad I got that right then. She's a good liar. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? Yeah, how? We were family friends. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I get five intuition points every time? How do people know that she's doubting? Are they using guides? You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. Do you really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. Okay. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Okay. Well, that that's a that's a truth. She wants the building investigated. I am. Yeah. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. What? Hold on! You have Cole! I mean, she might be playing him so that, you know, he goes Mr. along Benson with it. Mr. would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. I, uh... I am, I am so uncomfortable in these shoes right now. Yeah, I'm pressing A. Okay, all right, all right, Jack, Jack, you're difficult. I'm pressing A, you're not doing anything. Oh, I can't look at the stuff. You coming? No, I'm looking around my own office, trying to figure out how to live. So I'm not a detective. So I doubt I'll be finding... I, I'll be questioning many people. Or shooting many people. I'm going up to the lakes to watch the race. Or hearing any radio calls for shootouts or chasing you. down criminals. I, I, I have no taste, but I like you. You coming? Jack Kelso is liked. As he should be. He's a badass. Hard ass, but a badass. Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes. Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Uh-huh. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. 
She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. Uh, it's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Punch him in his face. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Take that putter and stick it up his bum. All the way. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks. Thanks, kid. Hold Y to skip to your destination. Well, I should have, actually, because... I, I should have because no one's going to talk to me unless he's going to talk to himself. I mean, we can just enjoy the ride with no gunfights or shenanigans. I could also see if Kelso makes noise when he skids around a corner. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't care. He's a thrill seeker. That was also a really good corner. I can't hold Y while I'm already driving. That's sad. I'd have to get out of the car. And... Ah! Okay, fine. I'll get out of the car. Okay. Now let's hold Y. There's no point in driving. <laughs> He's not going to talk to himself? Fine! Skip to the destination. Here we are. Hey! Been here before. Hey, we got evidence music in here, so we are investigating things. Okay, we got cement delivery That's not receipt. How my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Oh, thankfully you said that because I would have had no idea. Hey, the pinups. The pinups evidence. Need to check this out. Hmm. No, the curves are all in the right places. That's good. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Delays will not be tolerated. He also threatens people's uh, retirement funds. Cause he's a douche hole. Order of demolition, the city of Los Angeles. Bulldozing and starting again. Okay. Is that, is that it? No way. There he is. Smiling with his eyes closed. Doing everything with his eyes closed. Because he knows if he looked you in the eyes, he'd probably crumble because his conscience would kill him. Hey, you just can't be walking around down here. Well, I'm I am. John Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. Take another- Jack! I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Punch him one more time. In the face. Oh. Did you say down here? I have no idea. Is, th is there a location? Is it the house? Am I going to the house of sticks now? 
Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's within walking distance, but, you know. There it is. The place falls down, and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Are the red flags the indication? That's funny. Not for construction use. You know what I'll do? I'll I'll use that uh I'll use that thing in the in the notebook. California Fire and Life, this is creeping me out, man. I'm I'm playing as someone else. Show all clues. Wow. That's cheating. <laughs> One of these days. Sam is taking me to Palm Springs. Let's try to piece this together. So they... That's not right. No? We have is for quick. So they use the... There are films? Kinds of Paystone films. Count... Who gets their lumber from a film studio? What? Uh, 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 the guy! What? Son of a bitch. Shoot at the dry... God, man! Oh shit! Oh god, run, 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 Jack, uh. Jack! <laughs> All right, he didn't want to one stop aiming and two run again. He just put his arms down and went, "I accept my fate." Okay, shoot at the driver. Son of a bitch. Oh. Hey, this is different. This is, it's all of a sudden turned into Crash Bandicoot. I'm having to run and jump over platforms. Son of a bitch. That's funny. That's really funny. Is there any need to shoot? Is there actually... Is there actually any need? Is there actually any need? There is, a, there is actually need to shoot. I'm, I'm sciencing right now. Firstly, first, don't shoot straight away. Because <laughs> it'll just end in tears. So, someone is actually trying to kill Jack Kelso? That's fucking crazy talk. Oh, shit. Oh, shit must be the uh, indication. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. <laughs> go, go, go. Shoot him. Well, if it didn't seem sketchy before, now it's just completely sketchy. You just... Jack, why didn't you go back and, like, make an example out of it? By punching him in the face. Wait, that's not for fire and life, guys. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Now we're going to a film studio. This is a crazy case. I think he's a bit of a gangster. <laughs> but he treats me nice. 
Wow, I didn't need to know your personal information, you know what I mean? All right, cool. I'm gonna go there. It says destination, sweet. And then I'm going to hold Y and we're gonna magically teleport there. That was insane. A guy with a bulldozer caught me snooping around and tried to run me down. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there right. a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. I'll have to hop it with my amazing athletic prowess? That would take me at least three minutes to get over. And he jumped it like it was nothing. Okay, I'm investigating right now. Wait, we can make this easier. We could just show all the clues, apparently. It's cheating on the highest order. You're telling me this wood here? Oh, around the back there. Okay. Oh, there's plenty to find. Huh. Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. What? Are we gonna are we gonna play a film? It's nothing. Uh, there's a bright blue thing here. Oh, we're actually gonna play the film. Up one. There we go. I am delighted to come here. Or make yourself <coughs> amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. This is awesome. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GR. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's Vice President of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Why does this exist? Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen. I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. 
Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public God housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Why? Why? Why, why is that? Why is that? Why does that exist? Hold on. No, with this wall. There were more uh, clues. Was I supposed to get, go and get these clues first? Lumber. Look, lumber. L lumber. It's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, parkour. Brilliant. Do you have a phone? Operator, Los Angeles Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. Putting you through now. That wasn't what the subtitles said. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. Mm. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Wow. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Mr. Kelso. Thanks. Auf Why would you make that? I mean, I'm glad they made that real, because otherwise we would have nothing to go on. It turns out that Jack Kelso's boss is part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, and, uh, yeah, he's very much trying to get this a done deal so that she never talks about it ever again. Do they realize that Cole Phelps is on the case? And Jack Kelso. Cole's probably waiting for Jack. Or is he leaving? And Jack shows up, yeah? Okay. This is a very, um... 1940s noir shot crane over the building to the back to see Cole come around yeah what were you doing with him I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. 
Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Okay. He was very jealous then. Okay, Jack. We're gonna go and investigate site two. I should probably set the location. I haven't finished it. I haven't finished here? I haven't finished here? I haven't finished there, apparently. So let's go back. I thought I might have missed something because I did the reel and then we left. Okay, hold on. Does the music come back on? Huh. What am I here for? Did I miss something in that room? Okay. Ah, okay. Well, I've come back here thinking that there was something to find, and it turns out the, there isn't. Maybe I come back here later. Huh. Okay. Usually they're crossed out when I'm done with them. There's no music. Yaha. Uh -huh. So that's just the case, right? And the film's still in the, the projector. Get out of it. Thank you. And I can't watch it again. Property of the studio. No. Usually they're crossed off. That's the thing that gets me. Oh, well, thankfully we can fast travel in this one, so. No harm in looking around. Unless this guy's got anything. What about this newspaper? What about this newspaper? What about this newspaper? No? Was I supposed to see that before? Anywho. Um. There's no clues that I can see. Okay. Says destination, hold Y, and let's go. Maybe I messed up. Oh, well. I do like this change, though. This is... It's its come out of nowhere, but... We're gonna get Jack and uh, Phelps working together to bring down the whole corrupt scheme. But the thing is, the police chief's involved. So if the head of the police chief's involved, how do you get the charges to stick? What? I is there a fire? Oh shit. Flickering lights? Okay, I thought it was a fire. It's not. Uh... Okay, what am I looking for up here? I give myself a little bit of time to look for things. But then I will definitely just spend the point. Yep. Yeah, it was yeah, it was loud, yeah. It's also very loud going down the stairs or whatever it is it's doing. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Am I really gonna fight three guys? A few cats that's... You can't attack me when the camera angle's weird. 
time for you to lose some teeth. Oh, God. Oh, God, this guy's good. Oh, my God, this guy's good. I was supposed to lose. You're a oh. worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Um. Cole? I thought Cole was going to be there and we were going to have a conversation. Oh. We're here. The bulldozer guy. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> I guess Kelso didn't box in the Marines. That's all I'm what saying. What done with him, Mr. Monroe? Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> wow. Call oh, help. Oh. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. You're gonna have to run, buddy. You're gonna have to run. Get in a vehicle? Are you serious? Okay. Get in! Use alleyways and back streets to make it. Times. All right. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I've used the backyard. It's not the correct way! Damn it! Garden furniture! Move! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm doing well. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You know what was gonna happen. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. It really has turned into like a noir film. That's hilarious. Uh, oh crap. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Oh, hit that right behind me. Yeah, cool. Um, I think they crashed. I'm good with that. But also, they are a lot faster than I am by the look of things. So, yeah, Monroe owns the city. He owns the cops. He owns the insurance company that you work for. Yeah, they're, they're not Mexican. Um, uh, 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 oh God, go, go, I hit the wall. It doesn't matter, let's go. You see that? You make a, a very quick turn and- prop. What's my problem or his problem? I don't know, man. Talk to yourself. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way to avoid being killed. Shit. What? Okay. Over the hills and... All right, well, I attempted to jump. I attempted. Hey, it's uh, Rancho Escandido? Question mark? Is that the last of them? Oh, I did it. My evasive maneuvers were so erratic that I lost them. They're gonna be already at the apartment, aren't they? Just with her butchered and Cole's gonna be depressed and Jack's gonna feel guilty and they're both gonna combine to become a mega marine and take them all on with just their fists. No shirt, shredded. Just wearing a hat and trousers. Primal. Primal 1940s. I 
don't think that's what's going to happen, but that's funny. All right, that's really funny. Right. Where we at? I don't even remember. Where's she? There, right? <laughs> you gonna make yourself look presentable for the lady, yeah? It's not gonna work, dude. You're covered in blood. Still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Well, well. Really? Oh! I missed a clue! Game over, me. Oh, five. <laughs> Three questions in that whole thing? That's probably the shortest case in the game thus far. The next one could be the ambulance ride. Kelso dies and then they go five stars. Uh, the truth is out on Elysian Fields despite Leland Monroe's best efforts to bury it. Wow. That was crazy. I got to play as Jack Kelso. Are we going to be friends now? Are we going to be partners? Is Biggs going to be on it? Going to be the, the triple threat? Just going to watch, see if there's a cutscene. Why do they hate each other? Let's... Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. I know there was tension between them. There was conflict oh, often. Boom. Weapons company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them we in We are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Okay. Mount up. First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! So he was meticulous, always behind. He lost men because they got ambushed. Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who Why gave did that he... order? You did. He set it on fire and then ran in? What a nutter. Okay, right. So, shorter video, but that was awesome. We really, it really does feel like it's building up to a finish. We had this conversation on my Discord server uh, yesterday. Um, Rockstar have some weird, Rockstar games have some really weird pacing to their narratives. Like the beginning of this game, the beginning of... Red Dead Redemption 1, Red Dead Redemption 2, Manhunt even. Like, it's slow. To, to introduce mechanics and slowly dribble in, like, uh, the characters and the stories and get you used to what you're doing, it's very slow. And all of, like, the pace seems to just go bang, and we're off to the races towards, like, 60% into the game. Which I kind of like, because now I feel like we're really building up to something. We've been picking out information all to put together towards the end but it's weird it's not like balanced like there's not a consistent pace which is fine but it's very odd that it is oh the credits have gone thank you people um <laughs> it's weird that it's 
it kind of feels all just compressed at the end. But it's exhilarating, so I'm down with it. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye.